This is the absolute speed limit in Bee Swarm Simulator, or is it? Well, after making a video on it, you guys had a lot to say in the comments about how I could go even faster. So in this video, we're going to be using your guys' methods to get the world record for the fastest speed achieved in Bee Swarm Simulator. Alright, so starting off, here we are in the test realm with all of our speedy stuff. This is our speedy hive from last video, which by the way, you don't need to watch that video to understand this one. Bear Morph helps you go faster, so do all these speed tokens. My ant amulet gives me speed, and so do my boots and my hasty yard. And now that you're up to date, it's time to go even faster. So right now, I already have a Bear Morph and times 10 haste, and I already have a speed of 97.68, which is most definitely a lot of speed. But there's actually two more things we can do. Now, while Bear Bear Morph gives you movement speed as you can see it gives me 24, so does the Gummy Morph, which is what a lot of you guys said in the comments of last video. But I think one thing you guys don't realize is that Gummy Morph actually doesn't give me more movement speed. The Bear Morphs give a base player movement speed of 24, but that doesn't stack. So in simple, getting a Gummy Bear Morph won't actually make me go faster. But just because so many of you guys said it, I'm gonna get a Gummy Bear Morph just so that way you guys are satisfied. Now next up is a method that you guys probably didn't even know about, and that's that there's actually a special B-Quip that you can use to make yourself faster. I actually didn't know this existed, so thank you so much to this comment. But uh, if we actually open up our B-Quip case, you're gonna notice all these B-Quips. But there's only one B-Quip here that helps us, and that's the Whistle. Because there's a slight chance that it'll give you 1.01 player movement speed. Now, it's not much, but it's movement speed. Which means we need to get it. So obviously, we have to equip the B-Quip if we actually want to be able to use it. The only problem is this Whistle only goes on these types of bees. And if you look at my hive, we don't have any of those bees. So let's just quickly hatch one. I don't really care what kind we get as long as I can equip the bee quick. Oh, well, I accidentally had auto mythic on. Wait, no, I didn't. I got that vector bee from two royal jellies. Um, okay, so we're just gonna keep going. Like, bruh, literally two more royal jellies. What is this luck? All I want is a brave bee. Oh, I was using a mythic jelly, that's why. Okay, just a regular royal jelly, please. All right, we got a rascal bee. I'm pretty sure that that works. Yes, it does. Sweet. All right, let's take this whistle and let's put it on top of our rascal bee. And we're actually gonna make our rascal bee gifted in level 20, but now we need to is actually get that special stat on the whistle and the only way to do that is waxes so let's use our swirled wax on the bee all right it doesn't seem like it did anything yet let's use it again and again and again all right now we're gonna use a turpentine to completely remove all the waxes Alright, I've been sitting here for so long, I sadly cannot seem to get the bonus, which sucks, but it was only 0.1% movement speed, so I think we can skip it. And I say that because we still have our next method. So next up for our method to go even faster is actually Robo Bear. Now, during the Robo Challenge, there's actually a certain upgrade that you can give that gives you movement speed. It gives you 1.25 movement speed, which is honestly a lot. So, even though it could take a while, I'm willing to go through the suffering for you guys, so let's start some Robo Bear challenges and try to get that upgrade. Oh, and literally there it is. We literally only had to get to the second round and there's already our upgrade well i guess that saves us a lot of grinding so we're just gonna go ahead and take that upgrade wow that was so much faster than expected all right so now that we have that i guess we're actually pretty much done so here we go let's begin the setup and actually set a world record all right, so to start off the setup, we're gonna get to 29 out of 30 gumdrops used because once this thing hits 30, it's gonna activate the gummy morph, which like we stated, doesn't actually give us speed, but you know, you guys requested it, so we're doing it anyways. Now, basically, I'm gonna get times 10 haste. We're gonna get the bear morph like here. Oh yeah, I forgot, we actually have to use a super smoothie because that'll give us even more speed. See, there we go, 1.25 player movement speed. Then we're gonna run up there to the star hall, use the royal jelly dispenser, which can only be used once every 24 hours, so if I mess this up i have to wait till tomorrow just to try and attempt this again and then after doing all of that we have to run back over here go to the robo challenge and start a robo challenge just so that way we actually get our movement speed buff and then we're going to run to rose field drop down a coconut catch it and that's going to give us three seconds of coconut haste which is going to give us plus 10 player movement speed so we're going to see just how fast we can actually go all right so we got our super smoothie used i'm going to use nectars just in case marshmallow bee we're going to use a festive bean because we're in the test realm and we have that luxury Oh, and we already got a bear morph. All right, things are going fast. All right, let's head up here. Go to the royal jelly dispenser. I only have 20 more seconds to get this right. Okay, to be honest, I'm actually going to wait for another brown bear token. Otherwise, I don't think we can do it in time. Come on, bear bee. Make me a token. Make me a bear token, please. Oh, bear bee's making a token. Here we go. Here we go. When I collect this, everything starts. Three, two, one. Here we go. All right, claim the royal jelly dispenser. 
my gosh, we are going so fast. It's gonna be so tough getting up to Robo Bear. All right, Robo Bear, please let me start. Let me start. Come on. Okay, I don't really care what we get. And start round. Now we just need to go use a coconut and boosh. We have a movement speed of 387. What? What is this? What is going on? And just for the fun of it, we're using a gummy bear morph. How are we going this fast? This should literally be impossible. 387 movement speed. That was the limit right there.